Welcome back to Dad Life Gaming. Dragon Quest IV Randomized. Last episode, we did Chapter 1, where we greatly overleveled our character, who should have been Ragnar, but was Mira instead. Now we have uh, Princess Taloon, and Lord knows who else will join us on this particular journey. So, let's get started. That's right, I changed my controller for configuration to make it look a little bit more easier. Maybe not. Hooray! Oh, good job, then. Just understand. We'll actually get Bray. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And one of the interesting thing, th things to note about this castle and chapter is that it is. Um, I believe she is a Serena, not an actual princess. Um, so, or indicating that she is of Russian or Eastern European orth uh, not Orthodoxy uh, royalty. Just an interesting choice, but. I mean, if you're tired of princes and princesses and kings and queens, I guess you have czars, tsarinas. I mean, you have folks of lesser nobilities, too. Get out of my room. No, get out. Shoot. Correct, there's no door here. Nothing. Quick chainmail. Okay. Good thing. Or at least he's got a warm fur coat. Those cold, not Russian winters. Can't leave the castle. We have to, sorry, we have to talk to everybody first. I mean, he is a merchant, and she is a he now. He has a big mouth, don't murder him. So big. hands. I guess I could go look and see if there's any in there, but we'll say that is some of the QOL improvements of some of the later Dragon Quests that definitely fix things like single button search. Well, that is some of the enjoyable parts of the retro theme. Are you 
done yet? I'm gonna have to fix the damn wall already so I can break it down. fixed yet. I'm going to break it down and leave here. Get on with my adventure. Excellent. Fuck you all. Hmm. Weird glitch, but okay. Walking around on the roof of the castle. I don't have that key. Alright, time for adventure. Acceptable. 
good lord, 11 points of agility. 12 points of... Okay, that's acceptable. A couple of quick levels. Points, eight points of luck. Did I learn any good spells? Bray is supposed to be the other wizard of this game, using like ice magic and stuff. Christo is supposed to be like a priest, healer, bam, bam. Slimes. What was that? What just happened? Moonlight surrounded the enemy? Magic in Dragon Quest isn't scaled on intelligence. It's actually the spell itself does a specific range of damage. Not like where if you had higher intelligence in, say, Final Fantasy or RPG, the RPG games, your magic damage scales with like an intelligence stat. I think this one's hard coded as a specific range, which is fine. And I don't know if they, I don't remember if they fixed that in later games or not. Infirm most! Infirm most. And sleep. Crystal has buckets of, hip of magic points, but like no spells. Liking this so far. I guess we're gonna look south. What? This is more of Moon's crazy, nonsensical maneuvers. going through the roof. Oh, I do have that chainmail. I should probably check and see if anybody else could use it. Exploded! <laughs> you know, one of the most big, uh, most powerful AoE spells in the game. Okay. He's just an AoE wizard, apparently.
You have lunch, though. Great Ethan lunch. Look peckish. So has a thorn whip. And a fur coat. Same defense. Nobody's learned any healing magic. Problem solved. Problem solved? I think their stack growths are random too. I think I just I set everything to chaos, so. I mean, Saloon is usually a relatively strong, strong, vital fighter. Not beefy, but pretty stout. possible that Bray has more strength than Tulin right now. Bell. Same. has two spells. Ice Bolt and Heal Us. And Transform. Oh, good. Transform. Does he have the hero spell list, I wonder? I think those are the, the hero spells. Games. Pretty good attack. Groups of enemy with one a whip or a boomerang. I'd sure like to find another town. There's supposed to be a town not nearby. Maybe I'm wrong. I do think the encounter rate is... I think it's set to chaos, too. Okay, we'll just do that then. Probably eat up all my magic points, but...
Dragon Quest IV, The Leveling. Hey, there's the town in the middle of a swamp. Well, I we think we've got enough money. We can afford that, yeah. Same amount as um, pain mail. What do we got? Wooden hats, iron helmets, and sword of malice. That's the sword that. Uh, yeah. Good lord, staff of thunder. Dish that chainmail. All right, now hmm. really, I want weapons. I, mean, I don't really need weapons at this point. I think I've over. Natural of natural strength. See, nope, can't go that way. sign that's back there. Alright, this is the weapon store. Alright, what you got? Mm. The ice blade is worth more than the metal babble shield. I had one of those on Mara. Okay. So the only weapons we have are Swords of Malice and Thousands of Gold.
Wow, not that much greater. I'm going to be disappointed if the wooden hat has more armor value than the iron helmet. I don't think it does. Uh, it looks like 41. Alright, so now that we have no other weapons, let's continue our magical journey. the forest fire in a swamp. Okay. Why would you waste your time? over that other swamp then. Hey, there's another... T there it is. That's the town I'm looking for. I remember as a kid playing this game. That town was the town that always... This, this fight gave me some trouble until, as a kid, I just grind, you know, grinded my way forward, not realizing that, you know, in the spell list you have things like that, that lowers defense. You know, take care of that. I do remember getting caught up at this point. I, we're not going to have any trouble. Right now. 
Yes. I will absolutely go wallop. even do it without having rested. That's... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, get in. We're gonna throw you the, we're gonna offer you the monster. You can bust out and beat the crap out of somebody. Don't ever litter the litter. No time for puns, Shaman. There's always time for puns. Two dogs, and uh, whatever that is. A million humanoid and his heel slime companions. Fuck you guys. that statement is. Hooray! What did you sell? Egg? The morning star, leather hat, agility seeds for dirt cheap. Cypress stick, who can use it? Just bray. Tarot cards. Sure, and a leather hat. Who can wear the leather hat? Put a freaking hat on. Nah, dude. We're good. Feel the power of my tarot cards. At least everybody has a weapon. Alright, we'll rest up real quick. 73. for you. What, all three of you are getting married? What's happening here? They save a bunch of polygamists. Is this a swinger community? What's happening here?
these buttholes. Also worth thousands of experience points. Awful suspicious square. Onto you, square. <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't think we've gotten a whole lot of drops from monsters. I remember there being at least a little bit. I know we'll get a ton next chapter. Square. Oh, it's bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, metal babble armor for dirt cheap. Sort of decimation for dirt cheap. Golden barrette, ice blade, still expensive. Fire Claw. Try for a Wing Wyvern. Oh man. Can you, can you move? Can you move? Stuck until this guy decides to go one of three directions. What do you got, buddy? Chainmail, meteorite, armband, sword edge, armor, metal babble sword. Man, all the metal babble stuff. Nobody can equip this chain sickle. It's a metal babble bonanza. I will look in the jars. What are you trying to tell me? sell us a pink leotard, because I don't think anybody can actually wear that. Let's see what we cross-dressers. Sure. We can equip the fire claw. We're still going to equip the fire claw. And battle axe. This guy has some good stuff for sale, too. Right, look in that direction. Look! Sword of Decimation and Aelid's Shield. Okay, I want to buy that Sword of Decimation. Is it cursed? We're gonna find out. Or 
first. It doesn't matter what armor we put on. It doesn't matter what you equip. Zero defense. I realize that you can use them as an item and they do stuff, but eh, eh, eh. All right, we've got our cursed weapon. Let's go. I guess we need to buy a wing of wyvern. Or two. Since nobody has a return spell either. Down between here and there. The gal had the. And it'd be the. Mm. I'll pretend to be the princess. So, what the hell is this? Specifically the princess. Everyone else, you're fine. Princess, fuck off. Alright. This must be that town. I bet you do. Another step. Rama cut this princess. Running away. <coughs> Alright, let's go talk to their companions about what just happened. Serenity, Wayfarer's Clothes, Ice Blade, Mirror Shield, and another piece of shield. Oh no! Did you guys get back to work or something? Princess got taken. Aren't we the princess? sword on him. Might actually make sense. Rabbit hounds. I've been troglites, it's worth a ton. Crystal Learn's gonna learn some of his other magic.
Chill. I would have preferred to kill them. Fine. Here to find the golden bracelet. Because it's in this dun that's right, it's in this dungeon. They're, they're supposed to tell you that, but they don't. Being wacky. Oh, that's right. Not smart enough that this one doesn't do the diverted attacks. You're feeling better today? Oh, that's right, it's cursed. Cool. Armor. No one can wear. Excellent. Um... I... Bumbled my so you missed very little. Um, I'm now searching for the golden bracelet, which is the uh, chapter two castle the town you start in is completely surrounded by swamp, which is fun. Um, Bray instead of being an ice mage is now a AOE extravaganza. Crystal apparently has the hero set of spells. Should be good times. Ooh, we're actually past the point where... It's... It's a mixed bag of the party.
Fair. And apparently, Bloom does wacky stuff now, even with, uh... Um, me being in the, even with him being the, the princess, if you will. Which does make me somewhat fear what the next chapter is going to look like. So. Hooray! I found a bracelet! Bazaar also has, I think, all, almost all of the Metal Babble equipment, so, for reasonable prices. And that ice blade I found, I should have, I'm glad I didn't sell, because it's worth a bucket of money. The, the Bazaar is selling them for 72000 Hey, Barrier! I'm gonna have a heck of a time in the tournament, I think, though. I have no idea what just happened. I, all I read was, and then a dragon carried him off. The end. <laughs> what happened? No, they're asleep. Good goodness. First treasure chest I got from dropped from an enemy, and it contains a leather shield, which feels about right. Fence. What are you? Money. Excellent. Shield of Strength? I said the text set too fast. Bones just over there just doing whatever, I guess. Reality, intelligence, luck. That's about the most normal level up I've had. Leotard. Whatever. No. Hey! You can equip the other shield, too. Yeah. 
Saloon used a glove. His hit points go up six points. Sure. Why not? It's about as much sense as anything else around here. I mean, something happened and a dragon carried off an enemy, so... Why wouldn't a club heal six hit points? Maybe it was a club sandwich. That actually sounds kind of good. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna just, For my own, I just want to check the stats. I know. Okay. Yeah. That's some... That's some stats. Stronger. Fuck his bananas. What 90 luck on Christo? Holy cow. Just going crazy. are super front-loaded and then they just peter out, which is fine because if all my level ups were gaining 10 or 12 points of luck and vitality, then uh, at some point we're going to hit the max amount of uh, statistic one can have in a particular thing and then I worry about a rollover. An overflow. because these old NES games are doing stuff that this is doing stuff it was never intended to do. Ella Frover. Sure. Fine. I can go back to the bazaar and maybe get some good equipment. Excellent. Sell all that stuff off. Maybe get enough to get a metal bab or something. Oh, I still have to go to the birdsong tower too. Infernmost. Infernmost. Is this guy that tells you to go get the bracelet? No. Oh, I bet it's this guy. So I can tell you to go get the bracelet. information. I'm also going to loot your house. If for you, you had nothing of value. I have to wait until night time. Mm. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Perfect timing. There is not a world map in the sense that you press a button, but...
but there is an item you get that is a treasure map later in the game that can act as a world map. It doesn't tell you where anything's at other than the treasure, but it gives you a general idea of how bananas the world looks. <coughs> You've all been bamboozled. I hit that place first before coming here, but sure. I don't remember. I don't think you get the treasure map until chapter five, though. All right, what do you got? Ice blade, wizard ring, a club with an armor. Dragon mail. Ching. No, oh, I do have a thief key. Dang, I was kind of hoping that the leather shield would. supposed to go back, but we do that. Let's go to the bazaar. I want to say the Metal Babel sword was over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know the king's in trouble. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. get uncursed. Fiddlesticks. Mm. chill. No, there is no chill. Spells that one? Double the uh, double strength. Double attack. Sometimes the names in these games don't make any sense. There are only there's only a finite amount of base. Alright, so let's see here. Attack bar is 104. that. Two hundred sixty seven attack power. Definitely. And I just need another eighteen thousand gold pieces and I can afford a second one. Alright, now I'm not 
worried about the. Now I'm not worried about the uh, tournament. Now this has to be a breeze. If I can get him to listen. out of the castle again. And my escape hatch. My escape hatch. If I found like another dragon nail, but I'll take a fairy water. Because I'm going to use it right now. I'm going to talk to Mr. Poet Knight. I know it. I know where it's at, but I'm trying to remember. Want that one? Oh, yes, I'd like another, please. Thank you.
Can I creepy? Creepy doll. Then I have two folks with two AoE spells. Two folks that both have AoE spells, I should say. Crazy. This guy runs uh, <coughs> the inn. Yeah, we're good, I think. Yeah, that's a NES banger right there. Such a man with my bare hands, but you do you, buddy. I've seen the scars my dad has from getting touched by a man war. No thanks. Wow. Okay then. supposed to use like magic against them, but it's kind of fun seeing them jump. Plus if they split you get more experience points. And money.
Elephrober. Uh, elephant octopus. Creature. Now this is where I'm glad I pushed uh, the controls from my thumbstick to my directional pad on my thriller here, because... <clears throat> Luna's is dazed. Precise control. Like the one where a dragon just picked him up and flew off. Would be nice if someone would learn the return spell. That would be helpful. Eek a human! to be the into this. So, that was the item that we searched was a sacred room, which obviously might be useful for, say, good friend Bray here. Um, no, apparently not. But that was supposed to be the venison. <laughs> I don't know where that venison's supposed to be. Probably somewhere else. It's gotta be somewhere in this tower. Searching flowers. What would I have missed? Where would I have missed it? Is there a quick escape off this tower? There's not either. I was all excited because I was like, yeah, we felt we got the top. No. find that stupid medicine. Oh, I got everything. That's not a... Castell hmm. only split once.
is it. Found it. It's a fairy water. Monjar. Is there a quick way down? No. Nope. Nope. does not work on anything. I was like, hey, should I fit close out the should I close out this this episode or should I continue going? Let's finish out the junk. sweet in the armor with the iron claws. <clears throat> hey. Back to the castle. Princess Taloon has found the Bird Song Nectar. Speak! Speak, boy, speak! And then I lost my voice. Something terrible may be about to happen. Said the nightmares, but he can't remember. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Come again.
you gotta say now, bud. Okay, you can do the pass now. of Endor, or Endor adjacent. I think now is a good time to call it. So, thank you again for watching Dad Life Gaming. Like, subscribe, comment, join me on Twitch, where we have wonderful, you know, watch me live. I don't say we have wonderful conversations, but we do good people, and I do appreciate them stopping by to say hi. Um, watch it on YouTube, like, subscribe, all that stuff too. Follow all that jazz. Links are everywhere. You should probably figure it out by now. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Headlife Gaming. Take care.